Hi, I'm going to show you how to use an external tool to um, attach a Google Slideshow or a Google Doc into an assignment and it'll make a copy for each kid and put it in their drive. And um, first, I've already created like a shell assignment, it's called Google Assignment LTI. That's the name of the external tool that we're going to be using. So I'm gonna open this up. And I'm going to click edit. And I've already filled out like the basics, the directions, the points, things like this. This is the thing you need to focus on is the submission type. We're going to click on external tool and we're going to hit find. Now, before I was using um, Google Drive Cloud Assignment, but the new thing we're going to use now is Google Assignment LTI 1.3. It's going to give us some steps to kind of activate our account. With that and then here it is it's creating create a google assignment we're going to attach a file i'm just going to use a template of a bell ringer that works and you can see each student will get a copy um, you can adjust the points down here if you'd like although i would just um i put the points in there so the kids know how much the point how many points it's worth but i would actually you're going to have to put it in speed grader for it to actually show up in the grade book so i'll show you that in a second Okay, now I'm going to save and publish, or I've already published it, so I'm just going to hit save. And there it is. And notice you can't see any submissions yet. So now I'm going to go in as a student. I'm going to go into my Google assignment. And here it is. I want to click open assignment. I'm the student now. And here is his Google slideshow. He can edit it. And just like in Google Classroom, it's saving to his drive every time he makes an edit, which is really nice. And then he's going to hit submit. Okay, and it has a little clipboard. You're all set. You did a good job. If you need to unsubmit, like in Google Classroom, that was an option too. So now let's go back to the teacher version. And I want to refresh this page. Because he's turned, and uh, now I should have a submission. And here is his submission. Now notice, if you go in the spree, speed grader, it's going to show that he doesn't have any submission because this is an external tool. It's holding it through Google externally. So you're going to, for it to gr drop in Canvas's gradebook, you're going to have to actually enter his grade in the speed grader. But for the kids version, of, you can go in and do all the comments that you love on Google Docs, um, make edits to it, do all of that, all of that good stuff in this assignment. You just and then when you want to grade it, it's going to just give you a list of submissions right here, and it'll open it right up for you. So I can give him feedback. I can put his grade in here as well, though it won't drop into the grade book automatically. But just for the kid to see your comments. Notice I can see the edits that he made right away. So um, this is kind of our workaround of using Google Docs and um, Google Slides that we're so used to. And I hope this help, um, help you figure out how you're going to use those assignments in your Canvas classroom.